Hey, what's going on guys? Sky Fury GX here and welcome back for another Dokkan battle video. You can see right before you we have got the Masked Sands EZA, uh, EZA ready to go. I've got a team ready, uh, but before I jump into that I just want to go over something else with uh, everybody just real real quick here. Um, you can see in here uh, we've got a couple of new summons. We've got summons for the revenge category. This is for the EZA of Masked Sand, which is currently out now as you just seen. And then this is the new, um, like the Time Traveler's uh, hero units. Okay, so this is like Mira, Toa, um, Demigra, these kind of units as awakenings and reintroduction back into the game. Um, now, 30 uh, stones and you can get any unit on the malt, on the uh, uh, guaranteed featured. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven featured units. Now I would say like everybody seriously just stay away from like all of these banners in here. Honestly, like we're going to have Turles coming out soon as well. Stay away from him. Uh, at the moment, Global is in a pretty weird spot in terms of, like, knowing what's coming next. Like, we know Turles is just around the corner. But uh, apart from that, like, what could possibly be after Turles? I'm really not sure how uh, Dokkan is going to flesh out the second part of this celebration. Uh, it's a long celebration, but it really doesn't seem like there's too much... Um, like that we not caught up on JP with like their I don't know man like maybe there'll be a chain battle a world tournament like who knows but anyway um, masked sand let's jump in save your stones don't don't spend them on those silly banners um, right so the problem with uh, this uh, this event right here is we're going up against a tech enemy and we've got to have a revenge. Um, we're going to have a revenge lead. So that uh, is AGL Bardock here. So like, obviously we could have done um, a little bit better than having AGL Bardock around. Um, if we look at the revenge category, uh, the only leader for revenge currently in the game is this AGL Bardock. Like there's no other way of, of doing it. So like if you don't have this AGL Bardock, um, maybe you could try like a super int or a extreme int team. Um, like maybe you might be able to do it. Uh, but yeah, like really, you want to have AGL Bardock. And if you're summoning during the worldwide celebration, chances are you do have AGL Bardock. I was actually summoning quite a bit on the worldwide download celebration and. Um, AGL Bardock was just, I mean, for all of the units that I rainbowed on that uh, on that banner, and I uh, and I only, I think I only pulled like one copy of AGL Bardock. It was a little bit disappointing, uh, just just a little bit. I would have definitely liked to, you know, get him to 79%, uh, make the most out of his hidden potential. But nonetheless, like. You know this this team at the moment like he's AGL Bardock he's at 69% I've almost got him at full level 10 links as well um, just need to go back and do uh, one level 9 link on him and he will be fully uh, like maxed out um, but yeah I mean this Bardock here uh, he's probably among one of the most forgetful Dokkan Fest exclusives of 2020, actually. Um, and, like, this Trunks as well. Damn. Damn did he get solid after his EZA. Like, he's probably going to one-hit Masked Sand here. Um, just absolutely phenomenal unit. At 2.3 million. That's, uh... That is definitely solid. Yeah, see you later, Bardock. Um, Alright guys, we are going to be back when I'm like on the last few stages. I want to um, try and uh, get a bit more uh, footage in using this team uh, going up against the later proportion of the event because at the moment like we just coming in here and we slay and we absolutely slay and um, 
I'm just going to see what a free-to-play unit can do. So this Gohan here, he has, I think that's an additional attack when uh, when there's another uh, Goku's family unit on the team, uh, on the uh, same rotation. So, I mean, he should be all right. I got him rainbowed. He's not taking damage. Uh, he's below a million. So that's um, still did pretty good. So, like, there's still the potential of a third. Nah, okay. And then Kid, Kid Goku. Definitely, if you've got Kid Goku, I think uh, we're going to be able to see his active skill like later on. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's really going to help out as well. All right, guys, we will be back. Okay, now stage 28, the final leg of the journey to get this boy easy aid. So basically, what I've been f uh, finding here is. It's super, super easy. <laughs> even uh, even at level 28, and we're just about uh, just about there. Um, now, if we can get uh, if we can get Gohan in the first rotation, second rotation doesn't matter. But like, if we can get him uh, in the first slot after he's uh, getting hit, he actually uh, is doing surprisingly well. Actually, like I wouldn't have thought um, I'd be seeing like this good from Gohan, um, like given that Master San is tech, but I mean, we're going to pop out like a three point, uh, a 2.3 million attack stat, and uh, I mean, even if Bardock does manage to super Gohan lower his defense, uh, we're still going to be popping out like a 2.2 million attack stat. Plus, like, if you can get Gohan, uh, if you can get him critting, uh, it's, uh, it's really going to uh, just... Uh, make that damage just escalate like crazy. Like I've been getting, um, I've been getting additionals. I've been getting like double crit, double additionals, and like Gohan can pretty much solo this Mask San, even though he's tech. Um, another good performer is definitely this Trunks. Right, this Trunks is taking like absolutely no damage, so. If you've got this uh, trunks, just get him easy aid. You don't really need um, you don't really need to have him rainbowed or anything like that. I would say that you would probably be able to get this done um, with like without dukes even for a lot of these characters. I mean, you're you're gonna have the um, the TUR Ultimate Gohan uh, like at max. Uh, max potential like if, if you can like he's a free to play unit but I mean apart from apart from that you know like all of the rest of the units in this team that I'm using are like super like uh, they're just handling themselves so easily and um, that's like how so what have I got here I've got uh, it's not even like I've got everything rainbowed I've got Kid Goku rainbowed trunks but I don't and Gohan I don't. Okay, so um, yeah, like what we're getting we're getting through these events and we're still at like 90% HP or something like that. It's like it's honestly it's a it's a walk in the park and uh, a lot of people are going to be able to get this event done. I'd say like even if you're pretty new to the game, you haven't really been playing for that long. As long as you um, like as long as you've been playing since the worldwide download celebration I'm pretty sure you should have just about enough to get over the line with this one uh, why I say the worldwide download celebration is because uh, like they gave out something like 800 ish stones for that worldwide celebration and uh, there was Bardock was on uh, whose banner was he on this Gohan in the in the first slot again. I want to really want to get some um, like some additionals off with him as well, just to show him off a little bit because he's just been performing so so well, man. Uh, Bardock was either on uh, STR Goku and Vegeta's banner or he was on um, Margin Boo uh, yeah Boo Gotenks' banner. So it's like a crit from Gohan, even though um, even though like Marsam is tech. Like 2.4 million damage, and um, he just did with crit right there. Um, 
Okay, so I think this is gonna be it, right? This is the this is the last the last um, the last round, and then we've got our Masked San Easy Aid. He's actually got like a lot lot better since his Easy Aid. Um, he's just like going from these uh, going from these stats where he is like you know plus fifty thousand um, attack or plus twenty thousand uh, defense. It's like the um, <clears throat> what is that? The numerical uh, values really don't um, don't work too well with uh, modern day uh, with modern day uh, units because everybody is working in percentages. So the fact that they actually raising their attack and defense now by a hundred percent that is uh, that definitely like gives them a little bit of consistency and uh, that number. Uh, actually is a lot higher like what what they're gonna get so they're gonna get a lot more than 50,000 uh, defense don't ask me what it is but it's definitely considerably more um, just as we going up in the meta you gotta remember <clears throat> once upon a time people are playing this game and you know the best leader skills that you could get were you know plus three key even or um, you know three key and 90% stats or something like that. See, so with the modern day units that are coming out, um, we're, uh, we're getting like 170% like category bonuses and, you know, those numerical um, numbers there just cannot keep up with the, um, with the percentages. It's just like, as I said, like a lot, lot more consistency. So uh, that's... Uh, about going to do it, I think. I don't really think that this uh, rotation is going to struggle here, especially not with Trunks just about to attack. So yeah, super, um, super <laughs> masked sand, everybody. Um, that is level 30 of his EZA. Uh, as I said, very, very easy. Um, definitely wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, get uh, masked sand easy aid. There is, uh, there's definitely. Uh, there is lacking the amount of uh, the amount of extreme tech units there are in the game. So, I mean, if you can get if you can get some if you can get something um, that you can uh, that you can use, uh, definitely like put the work in and uh, and get him done. Uh, is he not even rainbow? Oh, well, I could rainbow him if I wanted to. So I might just go ahead and do that. Guys, um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.